Welcome back to CEO.ca. Now, we've had Hugh McNaught of Venture Point Diagnostics here on our show before, but this is an especially exciting time to be speaking with him again. Venture Point has just received U.S. FDA clearance for their software that plugs into existing ultrasound machines, deliver MRI quality heart measurements in a matter of minutes. We'll discuss commercialization in the U.S. and China for Venture Point. Hugh, welcome back. Thank you for hosting me, and it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, well, you know, you say that your tech provides MRI level accuracy at a fraction of the cost using standard ultrasound equipment. For retail investors, can you quantify those cost savings and explain also why hospitals would choose your program, VMS, over traditional MRI for our imaging? Yes. Well, first of all, with regards to the equipment, an ecosystem plus VMS is well under 10% of the capital cost of an MRI. So substantially less expensive. In terms of the procedure in Canada, an echocardiogram is approximately a third to a quarter of the cost of an MRI. In the U.S., the American College of Cardiology reports that MRI is 5.5 times more expensive than, than cardiac ultrasound. So we're doing a deeper dive into these financial metrics, and obviously they will differ between countries. I think it's also important to take a more holistic view of this in terms of workflow and cost. Uh, you know, with echo or, or cardiac ultrasound, it's possible to have a consult with the cardiologist and the echo study in a single visit. With MRI, this usually requires multiple visits because you're going to the cardiologist and then to a radiologist. So additional appointments, uh, you know, all the headaches of, of scheduling that are involved with that. Uh, and for the patient, I mean, this may be additional expense and bother in terms of taking time off work, travel, parking, etc. Well, you know, FDA clearance is a big milestone and you've cleared it uh, for VMS, your latest version of it, at least, um, after over two years of development. Um, can you walk us through your commercializ commercialization strategy in the U.S. and timeline for meaningful revenue in the States? Yes, the U.S. is an extremely important market for VenturePoint, both in terms of its size as well as its proximity to our office in Toronto. We've identified 500 cardiology practices where we believe that VMS Plus would provide a meaningful benefit to both the clinical practice as well as their patients. Our new business plan is being updated or has been updated. It features a number of initiatives related to commercialization. And in addition to the U.S., we're... we're uh, confident that these will apply to other markets. The first major step is, is uh, to evolve the business model to what we describe as DAS, D-A-A-S, or Device as a Service. This is a subscription model that will, we believe, have less friction in the sales process than the previous capital equipment purchase model. It should facilitate a shorter sh sales cycle and as well build a very nice stream of recurring revenue. The second thing is, is that we're expanding our commercial team. So earlier this year, we announced the addition of Carl Pringle, who is a very experienced commercial leader. Carl is now actively working with our partner, Ascend Cardiovascular, to develop a, a more coordinated outreach to U.S. sites. We've also engaged Dr. Nick Coutin to oversee clinical affairs. Uh, in this function, he'll be working more closely with our existing customers in the U.S., like the Mayo Clinic, Duke University Hospital, uh, Seattle Children's Hospital, and Phoenix Children's Hospital. Uh, further to the, these recent additions to the team, we expect to announce additional members joining uh, later this month. In terms of the timeline, you know, our expectation is that things will begin moving much more quickly following Labor Day, and we'll be generating meaningful revenue from U.S. sites prior to the end of the calendar year. Well, you, let's also talk about what you're up to in China. You've got a joint venture partner there called Yutian Medical, and they've got you know a Chinese FDA approval, and they're also included in provincial medical billing catalogs. Um, can you talk to us about the current status of Chinese sales and your expansion plans there as well? Yes. Yeah, so further to the news release, what we're really moving towards is an evolution of this relationship. So we're going from a uh, what was a joint venture to now a, a licensing agreement. And we believe that this structure will enable us to generate more meaningful revenues in a shorter time frame. So the previous agreement was structured around a, a previous version of VMS, version 2, and that version was driven through a, a, a central server. 
moving forward, what we're going to be doing is integrating VMS version 4 into a hybrid echocardiography system that we feel can be more readily deployed into the huge number of hospitals in, in China. Uh, we've recently announced the purchase, the first purchase of components to support this initiative. Uh, the intent of this is to manufacture a number of systems that will be used to drive product development, to be conducting demonstrations, and to be pursuing uh, validation and regulatory approval by the Chinese FDA. During this period, there may be the opportunity for a limited number of sales to specific sites within China. Mm. Well, when it comes to financing, you've completed multiple tranches so far. There's been about $500,000 raised recently. Um, but understand that all of this growth requires some near-term capital requirements. Uh, what kind of funding do you need to execute further on plans this year? Yeah, so as everyone knows, the financing environment for early stage Companies has been very challenging to say the least, uh, not just for, for VenturePoint, but for all companies. Uh, this has really resulted in us uh, closing multiple tranches rather than a, a single large financing. Uh, by doing this, I think we've essentially demonstrated our ability to, to bootstrap the company. And it's also shown that our team has the flexibility and creativity to continue achieving progress in a, in a very lean environment. So our new business plan is uh, one that really outlines a path to profitability in 2027. Uh, we're anticipating securing capital through private placements. These would come from private investors, family offices, as well as potentially strategic investors. And we've recently initiated outreach in the US, in Europe, Canada, uh, and elsewhere. And certainly for anyone who, who's interested in participating in this opportunity, I'd invite them to contact me directly. Well, how will you be measuring commercial traction? Uh, what does success look like for VenturePoint in terms of units sold or recurring revenue? Yeah, so we're now at the point where, uh, you know, in terms of the evolution of the technology, the product and the company, uh, I think we can very confidently say that the technology and regulatory risk has been driven out of this. With version four, the product user fit has been substantially improved and our customers are reporting much better integration into clinical workflow. So our focus is really turning from product development to marketing and sales. Uh, you know, customer base can be described as early adopters. You know, many of these folks are key opinion leaders and others who are using VMS to manage complex and challenging cases. So we're working to leverage this into uh, placing the system in more sort of routine clinical practice settings where we believe that, that there's a potential to, to sell a good number of systems to support the millions of patients with you know, conditions like congenital heart defects, pulmonary hypertension, cancer, you know, heart failure and valve dysfunction. The key metrics here are going to be sales and placements. So we have a good pipeline. We're working very diligently to be securing these sales. We're looking at uh, expanding our commercial team. So there'll be announcements coming on that. We've also expanded our outreach to strategic partners. Uh, so Companies in the space who I think have synergistic offerings to us. So the belief being that we can work together and, and by doing so achieve greater results. All right. That's Hugh McNaught, CEO of VenturePoint. Hugh, thank you for being here with us. Good. Thank you very much.